glass and ceramics and this was designed by a guy called James Markoush who does a lot of famous kind of bespoke kind of uh, glassware so it's very unique very bespoke <laughs> and it's very light so when you try to hold it <laughs> so that's for you as well. <laughs> thanks very much for the team because I know we want to chat a bit about positive as regards the engineers because as regards what we need and our um, things that we're going to pass across on, not at a student level now, but at a very higher level, um, to the university. Um, so I would demand over for him to speak. I think some of these universities have adopted this method of uh, standard payment. To, yes, to mental payment to the extent that uh, even in Nigeria we have something like that. The danger to the student is that if you don't pay before you graduate, you might be a graduate without a certificate. Right? So I am also uh, suggesting that to your school. And as the, the man in charge of their interest here, I think that is one message that I feel I should pass on. It will help them greatly and also help the school also to keep. Uh, the, the students. We've introduced um, Nigerian scholarships, 
So for postgraduate, all students from Nigeria will receive a £1,000 scholarship. Okay. All undergraduate students will receive a £1,500 scholarship for every single year of study. For foundation, we are now the most affordable university in Nigeria for foundation. Instead of £13,000, students only pay £9,900. And on top of that, we've introduced a range of Nigerian Academic Excellence Scholarships where up to 45 students can gain this scholarship. And the scholarship, if awarded, will receive full accommodation for one year, including bills, gas, electricity, television, internet, and so forth. So for instance, an undergraduate student who gets the undergraduate scholarship and the accommodation scholarship, £9,000 for the year includes everything. Tell me a little bit more about, um, but a lot of pharmaceutical companies supply equipment to us free of charge. So we have Vexco, Clyde Smith, Johnson & Johnson. And the reason they give us this equipment is because they know that once our students graduate, they can go straight into a job. There's no need for another 12 month training period. So they supply millions of pounds worth of equipment free of charge to our students, which we'll go and have a Yes. Um, what's his name? Mr. Chichi, 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 Yeah, uh, the, the science lab, yeah, not much different with that of Nigeria, apart from the equipment, uh, uh, standard, the yeah, modern equipment. But I think what fascinates fascinate me more is the multi-proposal and the library, where uh, there is an arrangement with the, 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 the companies to have uh, book supply, modern books supply which make it very uninteresting for students to buy but makes it interesting for them to even go to the library more and uh, which is to the benefit of not only the student school because if we have a library that is updated and books are there for you to use and the more you use them the better for the school and for the student buying books. So I'm, I'm so impressed with that. And the, the, the multi proposals in Nigeria, multi proposals are to do with academic proposals for conferences and exams. But this multi proposal I see is purely all inclusive multi proposals academics, conferences, sports. So I also think this is something that uh, I have come to.
what I would encourage government to do to make the environment in Nigeria conducive and better for learning and learning to the level that we have here. If we have facilities, we have uh, standard that we have today, and we also have the, the economic improve for our parents. I don't think we'll be struggling to, to have harsh weather education. We prefer to remain at home to, to, to have this degrees. Uh, only very few of us we actually want to go, especially areas of specialization. So I, I think what we should do is to put here also work on our economy to make Nigeria help of tourist education and only the very few of Nigerians that we go for area specializations uh, that are not we are not having in Nigeria that should be encouraged to go elsewhere to, to study. So I think what I am seeing here is something that we should replicate at all. Because if we must go into paying scholarship for international students, then we are not going to grow our own economy and grow our own situation. Yes, uh, they should be good ambassadors, and like what I'm already saying, um, from the statement from the authorities, shows that people are doing well.